wonderful week. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I'm in my makeup room. I'm so excited. I am using the natural daylight today just to kind of see how it looks. Um, so bear with me. And we have workers here. So if y'all hear some banging, everything's okay. Um, but this is my new makeup room. I am going to kind of edit and I still have to tweak a few things in here and hang a few things on the wall. But I am doing, I've been vlogging it. So y'all stay tuned for that here in the, ne in the next week or two for Mommy Monday. And I'll show you my room tour. I'm so excited. Ah, it's like my own girly space. You know how they have like a man cave? Well, this is like a woman cave and I love it. So, I'm going to get started, and you know what? I don't have a lot of favorites this week. Okay, I just filmed a tutorial on this look, and it will be up in the next couple of weeks. I have to edit it because it was so loud in here, and I'm just going to speed it up, you know, and do, like, music to it or whatever because I've been doing a lot of chit-chat get ready with me. So, the next one will be sped up version of this look because I have been digging this look. So, y'all know, last week I had an eye infection. Well, it wasn't really an infection. Here's what happened. I ended up going to the doctor and um, they scraped the popcorn on our ceiling. So, some of that got in my eye. I had four pieces stuck in my eye. He flipped my eye up and got the four pieces out, but it had already scratched my eye. So, he put me on like a steroid eye drop and I was I took it four times a day um, for four days and then so it's been clearing up it's so it's like a hundred percent better now but over the last week or week and a half I haven't been wearing a lot of eye makeup I haven't put any eyeliner on in over a week because I just I didn't want to irritate it anymore. You know what I mean? So, I was talking to my friend Laura. Her channel is Miss Lola Lynn. I'm sure you guys know her. She is so phenomenal. Anyways, I was talking to her and she was like, girl, just rock a bold lip. Like, minimal eye makeup and a bold lip. So, that is what I've been doing all week. If you've been following me on Instagram, I've posted a bunch of pictures with this lipstick and minimal eye makeup. So, I did do a get ready with me so y'all can see how I did it. I literally used one eyeshadow, you know, except for my brow bone highlight is something else. But essentially, I used one eyeshadow and I loved it. So, everything that I'm talking about pretty much, I'm wearing in today's video. And so, you'll see a tutorial on it coming soon. Can I say tutorial or get ready with me anymore? <laughs> okay, so let's get started. All that to say, this week has really focused on lips for me. Like these vampy, deep, dark burgundy wine colored lips and so let's let me talk about the few other products and then we'll do lips at the end and I did have a somewhat fail so we'll talk about that too on my cheeks this week I have finally started using my NARS blush in sin I got this a couple of weeks ago it is such a perfect fall shade and I love it I just, there's no other words to say about it. If you don't have sin and you're into these um, fall type blushes, be sure and pick it up. VIB sale is coming up soon so you can get 20% off of this blush. Hello? So yes, been loving that this week. I am going to do a video on like my recommendations for the VIB cell. So yeah, that'll be coming up soon too. And then on my eyes, this is the only eyeshadow I have on my eyes today, except for my brow bone highlight. And this is, I think it's discontinued, but if you did pick it up, it's the Sephora Outrageous Prisma Chrome Eyeshadow in Outrageous Metallic Taupe. This is just such a perfect all over the lid shade. You start out on your lower lash line and then just blend it up. It's so easy. It's so beautiful. It's just, uh, look at that. It, it's like metallic. If you don't have this one specifically, I'm sure it's dupable. You can find like a metallic looking taupe color, but I love it, especially when you're not wearing any eyeliner. It still gives you a little bit of depth to your eyes, and I'm digging it. And then the next single shadow I wore a couple of times this week on my lid, and that's all I wore, was this that I got in my Ipsy bag. It's the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow in Esmeralda. 
And when I first got it, I was like, um, I don't know. But then I swatched it and it is absolutely stunning all over the lid. So there it is swatched. And actually these two paired together is really pretty. If you put Esmeralda on the lid and then just pop a little bit with like a MAC 217 in the crease of this Sephora taupe color, it is gorgeous with this blush Whew, and a dark lip. Yes, I have loved this look all week. I'm obsessed with it. And yes, you should try it. It's just been super simple for eyes this week. There is like a freaking circus going on on the other side of this wall. So I apologize. Okay, so the next thing, let's talk about all the lips I've been loving. And let's start with this one. My girl, she's a subscriber. Her name is Del. Um, she sent me the Maybelline matte. She sent me a few of these Maybelline matte lipsticks. Now I had one, but I could not find any other ones. And I literally have been looking for them for over a month. This is the one I wanted so bad. It's called Divine Wine and I do have it on my lips right now. Um, it is perfect. This formula um, is right up there with the NARS Audacious lipstick formula, except this is matte. So, and those kind of have a little bit of dimension to them. This is fully matte, but it's so comfortable and they last on your lips forever. Uh, my problem with these dark, deep, vampy lips is sometimes they look really patchy and this one has never looked patchy. I've reached for this like four times this week. I'm so obsessed with it. Thank you so much, Del, for sending me those. And then, oh, the lip liner, of course, is MAC Night Moth. That's what, it's just the perfect lip liner for these deep, dark, vampy lips. Um, and these, I, I outline my lips and then I kind of fill in the corners and it just makes for a perfect fall colored dark lip. Obsessed with it. And then two more that I've loved. Okay, I busted out Diva. And this is really close to Night Moth. I'm going to swatch it. This is Diva, and then this is, uh, I'm sorry, this is Diva, and then this is the Maybelline Divine Wine. I like the Maybelline one better, you guys. Diva is right here. Now, it's a tad bit darker, but it's patchier. It's patchy on my lips, and it wears off a lot quicker than the Maybelline one. So, if you're, just if you're trying to decide between Diva and the Maybelline Divine Wine, definitely get Divine Wine. Save yourself $10.00 get this one this one's a little bit patchy but they're both as you can see this beautiful deep vampy lip that everybody's loving and then another one i tried now this is one where you can just throw it in your purse you don't need a lip liner you don't need a gloss over it um if i was wearing these i threw mac odyssey in my bag because this is just a good touch up color um it's lighter if you're scared to do one of these really deep ones try odyssey it is a frost finish which generally i stay away from but this one is so beautiful on your lips even to top let's see even just to put it in the center and you know give yourself a little bit of dimension these feel really really comfortable on the lips and so if you're too scared of one of these, try Odyssey. I know we generally stay away from frost, but I promise girl, you will not regret it. I love this. It's one of my favorite purchases that I've made this year. And then let's go for the fail. Okay, so everybody has been loving the ColourPop eyeshadows and lipsticks and all of that. And I do love this lip liner that I have. It's in the color Bichette. Now they sent me this, but I think these are only $5 each a really good formula for five bucks I'm not gonna lie um, it's really creamy it's really opaque it does not tug on your lips it goes on comfortably you can actually fill in your lips with this and wear it as a lipstick so I love this and I love this color however I got the matching lippy stick and I believe because I, I hold this and I believe I swatched it but I have never worn it on my lips and it's like it's stuck down in there so this is my fail it's stuck down in there and i can't there's no way that i can shake it out to even get the product up i mean and i tried pulling it apart you know so i think i just 
Oh my gosh, I just got it out for the first time. How funny. Y'all are my good luck charm. Okay, so yay. I guess it's not a fail. <laughs> um, I love this color, so I'm so glad I got it out. Y'all got to witness it. I was going to say maybe I just got a faulty one, so it's not even shaking anymore. Woohoo! I'm so excited. So I will try this actual lippy stick out on my lips next week and let you know what I think, but you know, it's a beautiful color and I love the liner. So that is it this week. Is that it? Yeah, that's it this week. I'm sorry for the loud noise, y'all. Our house is going to be done this weekend. So just stick with me. I promise it'll be over soon and y'all will get a tour of my room, which I love. That's probably been my number one favorite this week is my room. So um, I will see you next time. Y'all tell me below what y'all are doing this weekend. It's Halloween. So happy Halloween. If you do celebrate it, be safe, eat lots of candy and have fun. Bye.